I'm going to do is I'm going to make peach jam from my preserves. I have two plant jars left of these perfectly preserved peaches from last year and uh, unfortunately that's the end of them. I'm going to have to preserve a whole lot more in season. I don't want to do it now because they're perfect when they're in season and not so much before then. Okay, so what I'm going to do is drain. I, I've packed them in a light syrup and I'm going to drain the, the light syrup out. So all of my prep work is to make this is already done. Unfortunately, I don't have more than that, so it's going to be a small quantity. And uh, now that they're drained, I'm actually going to do it in a frying pan rather than a big pot because I don't need it, and that'll allow me to smush it and cook it quicker. So it's going to be my three ingredient no pectin jam. So I'm going to be using the preserved peaches, one cup of sugar, possibly more, but I'm going to start off with one cup and lemon juice. And that's it. That'll be my three ingredients. Now at this point I'm not going to throw away this juice. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it, but I don't want to throw it away just yet. I may decide to toss it in the jam at some point. So, okay, so I've got the heat on and I'm going to get a potato masher. As I said, these have already been processed, so it shouldn't take much effort to turn them into a jam. And I, and I noticed that you can buy peaches in the store now, preserved in jars, so uh, certainly I prefer to do my own. I like to know what's in them, but for someone who um, does not want to preserve their peaches, they can certainly use this same method that I'm using here and uh, make jam. So I'm going to just bring this closer so we can see it. Okay, there we are. And bring it out just a bit. Okay, so I do have the heat on quite high right now, just to get that to temperature. And I'm going to add a splash of lemon juice. How much I end up adding in the end will determine how uh, will be based on whether or not it thickens up quickly enough or not. It's the lemon juice that helps it to um, firm up and my one cup of sugar to start. As I said, this has already been processed in a light sugar, so it should be, uh, shouldn't be uh, too tart. It might be a little bit tart. And if I have to add more, I will. So get this up to a boil, and then I'm just gonna turn it down and let it slow cook. Smells awesome. Now, we'll be canning these. I don't know how much it'll make. I should make maybe three to four half pint jars. Considering they came out of two pint jars, well, maybe not that many, maybe just three. Okay, so I'm gonna just boil this down and then we'll get back to you after it's boiled down. Now, I do have two dishes in the freezer. Uh, and that is how we'll use those to determine whether or not the jam has set. Okay, so we'll get, I'm going to turn this down to a low um, temperature, a lower temperature, so that it doesn't burn. Um, don't want that. And then we'll get back to you after it has reduced somewhat. Okay, so I'm tasting it to see if it needs more sugar. And oh no, it does not. The one cup was adequate for the two pint jars. Now the other thing I'm 
thinking of doing here is using my mixer to blend it all. Into a more pureed type. I think I like that. And I love the impression that this jam is, if not done, I'm very close to it. So I'm going to just take it off the heat for a minute and get a dish and do a test. So I've got one of my dishes out of the freezer. And I've poured a bit on there. And yes, it's not really running. Let's pour some more. Now the test is that it stays together. Oh, that's hot. Yes, that does look like it's firming up, but I think I'm going to leave it for a couple more minutes. And having tasted that, I may even add a bit more sugar. And a bit more lemon. So, but I like the texture now. So another splash of lemon. And likely somewhere around a quarter cup of sugar. I did notice it was a bit tart there. And as we cook this in, then it should be done. I still have fruity bits in there. I didn't puree it totally out, but uh, I did want it more spreadable rather than lumps of fruit. Although leaving some lumps of fruit is also nice. Just adjusting the camera again. Okay, get a fresh spoon. is good and I think we'll do a test with one more dish but I believe I'm ready to put it in jars now Yes, that looks ready to me. Mm -mm. Okay. So now I have to prepare some jars. I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, so while the camera was turned off, I prepared my vinegar to wipe the rims. I've prepared my lids so they're, they've been washed and sitting in hot water. And my jars are in the canner, and I'm going to pull them out one at a time. I've got five in there. I doubt that I'm going to need five, three, perhaps four, but um, anyway, better to have extra ready and not enough. Okay, so now I'm going to skip them into the jars. And it's already thickening up nicely. I'd be happy to get three little jars out of this. Okay, so there's one. I 
and delete at least half an inch headspace. I think I've got closer to an inch or three quarters of an inch, but that's fine. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like I'm even going to get three jars out of this. I have something special in mind for this jam, and perhaps in another video I will let you know what that is. But for now, I'm just making the jam and preserving it. So let's see what we get here. doesn't even come close. So two pint jars made two and a half half pint jars of jam. I'll know that for the future. I believe I do have a half pint or no tiny one somewhere. Let's see if I can find it quickly. in a minute. Okay, so I did find my little jar, washed it, and yes, it is the right amount so that I can actually process this and seal it because that's what I want to do. I don't really want to, uh, mind you, I could always put it in the fridge, but at this point I'm just going to process all of them. So, Two half pints and then one that's half of that again. I forget what that size that's called. So now we clean the edges with vinegar. and put a lid and a ring on. Yes, I have special plans for this jam. Okay, now we have extra jars in here which I can take out. Don't need them. can be used as one. However, I do like to drop something at the bottom of them so it's so that the jar is not touching the bottom of the pot. Okay. And water bath canning these at they have to be, the water has to cover at least an inch, and in this case it's at least two inches. We're more than fine here. So, um, okay, so at this point we are going to get this up to a boil, and then we are going to water bath can this for ten minutes. And meanwhile I will clean up and put everything away. Oh, I forgot. I want to pour the balance of the vinegar in my water bath canner just to keep the jars from clouding. Okay, that's it for now. We'll be back in a few minutes. Jam is just about ready. A couple of seconds left to go. Cool. Now I'm 
this works out. Next year I'm going to make, well, this year, canning, each canning season I'm going to make a whole load of peaches and then turn some of them into the jam as well. So that's it for this video. Um, thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.